So we're in Lahaina in Maui at Dee's Point Mochi. And, and I would like to introduce you to Dee. Hi, I'm Dee of Dee's Point Mochi. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> So today we are going to be, she is going to be teaching us how to make poi mochi. So what is poi mochi? Poi mochi is an Asian fusion, Asian Hawaiian fusion dessert that incorporates poi, which in the Hawaiian culture is actually a staple food and now more recently known as a superfood. Poi is taro, it comes from the taro root that is pounded down and mixed with water until it's really like smooth. Um, and then we go ahead and we mix it with coconut milk, white sugar, and rice flour to turn it into a batter that we fry. So it's similar to a donut bowl, but the consistency on the inside is more chewy. It's not as bready if you use bread dough. We have altogether 16 total, but we carry four on the truck at all times. Um, today's flavors, we have poi, strawberry, ube, and creme brulee. Also with the with the mochi, uh, have, we have movie dipping sauces that I make. Those come in, I want to say eight different flavors, but I can list them for you if you like. Yeah. So our most popular is white chocolate coconut. Um, that one was created actually for my husband. His favorite stuff is white chocolate. So I figured do something with coconut. We also have a pog flavored juice which in Hawaii is uh, it's a popular juice so we turn it into a syrup uh, that's the two most popular also have guava passion orange which is also known as lily koi ube chocolate caramel and regular coconut as well what's your favorite flavor? my favorite in the mochi would have to be hands down the poi the poi also started our business and as we grew I created more flavors. Nobody on island makes more flavors than I do. Um, out of the dipping sauces though, awkwardly, guava is my favorite. Same here. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite. So, uh, how, how do you make it? How do you make it? Well, it all depends on what flavor we're doing. So, Maybe like guava? The guava sauce is, honestly, it's guava puree or guava nectar. And then we use sugar and cornstarch as a thickener. Oh, wow. Uh, can you try, try one for us? Sure, in fact. My husband is cooking some right now if you want to go in and check it out. So right now he's working on the ube flavor. Dad, they're coming in the boat. Oh, they just want to come see. Aww. Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm doing a mixed flavor. It's uh, strawberry, ube, creme brulee. It smells really good. And cool. It smells really good. You know, how long do you find? About seven minutes. Oh, okay. So it's nice and warm and brown. Are these the flavors for yes. the sauces? Yes, sir. So, right here we have white chocolate coconut, which I think he said was um, uh, the staple. Well, this isn't sold on the truck. This is just a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for coming. But it's a ube tart, so it's my ube cheesecake filling inside of a gluten-free crust. Oh my god. And these are little ube cheesecake tarts. Oh, thank you. This is our ube lady fingers, which is also, again, my ube cheesecake filling um, with puff pastry. Oh. And then in this box is our cookie butter lady fingers. Same thing, puff pastry, cookie butter cheesecake filling. So that's all for you. I'm going to do kind of a mix. This is the poi, the poi batter. So in here is the taro root 
butter, pound it down and mix with water, coconut milk, sugar, and rice flour. Rice flour is what makes this gluten free. Just grab the scooper. And this is actually the mochi that started it all. And honestly, it started as a pregnancy baby. I was pregnant to my youngest son. And I had had koi mochi on Oahu when I was younger. We couldn't find it here and I couldn't fly. So I had to make my own. As you can tell in Hawaii, you always gotta make your own. Okay, so that's the koi. This is our number one seller. You can go through four of these containers in a busy night. And each container holds about 12 pounds of batter. So from this small little trailer, I did 900 pieces yesterday, and that consisted of a 24 pound square container and two of these. So I'm not too sure, a lot. They tell you a lot of more people that I want to This is our strawberry one. It's our second flavor that I came up with. And I try to incorporate my family in every single way possible in my business. So strawberry was actually created for my stepdad, who is also our family mechanic and our all-around go-to guy. He loves everything strawberry. And I have had strawberry mochi before but never fried. So I had a lot of time on my hands and I decided not to want to make something for that. So our mochi, when we sell it, is six pieces in a bag, and that comes with one dipping sauce, or you can get 12 pieces and get two dipping sauces. All the dipping sauces come on the side, or and each mochi is tied to order, so we don't hold anything. This one was our creme brulee, and I know what you think you custard, yeah? Very. But it's a creme brulee flavored powder as well, with um, rice flour and water. And then the last flavor I'm going to cook is our ube. Ube is our second most popular, uh, one of the more rare flavors that I developed out of all of them. And I did it because ube is a big here in Hawaii. There you go. They take about seven minutes to cook. Once they throw it into a golden, I pull them out. She's making our boy monkey balls. Can't wait to eat them. It's a boy monkey. Delicious. Hey, it's beautiful. Look at the inside. Look at that. Mm. Peace, boy, monkey. 